What's up guys? There's been some news for Counterside. Granted, the news are only on Korean website for the news and it's translated so there can be some inconsistencies but I think for the most part it's pretty straightforward as to what what they're doing. So let's quickly get over them. They're relatively small but big at the same time so the first section talks about people who are trying to fix the game basically um, and them apologizing for for any problems with the game as of now or as of 6.0 patch the origin update so PR stuff doesn't matter too much um, the next section talks about the roadmap adjustments basically you know they cannot keep the schedule with the map and they are reconsidering things and reevaluating the whole uh first half of the year to see like what they can actually deliver and what they cannot deliver so understandable considering there's been many problems with the game right now i think they should definitely focus on fixing the game instead of pushing new stuff uh, I mean, they should be adding new stuff regardless, right? But if something were to take a step, ba step back, I'd rather see content be a little slower and then fixing the game rather than the opposite, ignoring all the problems and pushing content. So I, I for one, am, am happy to to hear that they're trying to, to work. We'll see if, if that gets them anywhere uh, so far. Not a good track record. Granted, the next two <laughs> sections are definitely good, in my opinion. We'll see if they're doing more changes than that. But um, the first one is dive related. So ship corrosion has been a, a very shit mechanic. I think everyone can agree that this mechanic is stupid. It doesn't add anything to the game other than frustration. And it's just... I don't know who designed it, who thought it's a great idea to add it in, that it will be fun. It has not been fun. So seeing it gone on March 15th, which means in, in two in two days, the next patch will actually will be like closer to one and a half day. But seeing it gone definitely makes me happy. That means we're basically back to the old dive pre-update, which is just very fucking weird to praise them for bringing back how it was before um what a world we live in where we'll be praising the company and i'm sure people are ecstatic about this uh but like consider that this is literally going back to just the old dive for the most part um the only changes that persist persisted are the fact that you don't have to redo the dive every three months with the reset ticket right and you can do the daily mining on it and the second change is that the stages are different as in enemies are different with with the artifacts so those are the only two changes that actually persist which i think the artifacts will probably be revisited by the team because they're pretty garbage right now um so realistically the only good thing is which is exactly what i was saying the only thing that was relevant or needed changing was the fact that you don't have to re-clear that shit every three months i think that was the only piece they needed to do and people would be happy so um good job on you for catching up guys after like a month um that that was the only thing you needed to do uh to to have make people happy good job uh the next thing also big news shadow palace will be rolled back to what it was before origin update meaning the old shadow palace with no stamina cost is back as well as shadow palace shop which is very important because that means we're getting back the gold binaries and blue binaries for free basically energy free at least so if you if you can clear Shadow Palace, that means you'll be able to uh, get all those binaries again, 
we'll see if they're making further changes to uh, Shadow Palace. From what I remember last in the last uh, developer notes, I think they were talking about wanting to completely revamp Shadow Palace. So I'm assuming for now they're rolling it back until they figure out what they want to do with Shadow Palace. So we're not out of the woods yet, but this is, again, feels weird praising them for bringing back what we already had. But yes, this is definitely good news that we're getting it back, especially for new players. You will be able to farm the gear again for free and you will be able to get some uh, binaries for free as well. So that is huge. I talked actually about this. A change with one of the uh, one of the people in in the comment section on my what is wrong with counter side uh, origin update so this is exactly what I said if they just bring the the shadow palace shop back I think it would uh, would be amazing so this is exactly what we're getting I'm glad I'm glad that we're on the same page with the team here so uh, the next section talks about Korean server. Uh, I think there's been some performance issues on Korean side. Uh, basically, they're just talking about the equipment that they've purchased, waiting for all of it to arrive. And once it arrives, they will make use of it. So it doesn't affect really the global players, but, you know, they, they've been working on, on, on the servers at least. So that's good. Then the next thing is the gauntlet matching. Basically, they're bringing back the NPC fights if there is a big difference in combat power between uh, you and the enemy. So basically, when you match uh, in PvP, in the old system, I didn't even know it was gone, but in the old system, when you were lower rank, uh, you often would... Like queue up for a long time and it couldn't find you anyone close to you so instead it would give you an npc to fight instead of giving you someone who's you know way higher in the ladder and would just stomp you so that's again for new players definitely a good thing because you will be able to actually climb easier uh, in the bronze and silver ranks so and i think you need to hit like gold something for for all the missions on, on your uh, new account so again good change I didn't even know it was gone and second to last thing is the Japanese voice stuff basically they say they're saying that they're doing the recordings and they will be adding more voice acting in Japanese and they're apologizing yet again for failing people i'm not sure what exactly they are talking about in terms of the voice recordings i'm assuming and this is me just speculating some of the characters that are out in in japan don't have their voice uh voicing yet in japanese that's my assumption um if that's not the case then uh, I'm not sure what else they could be talking about here. Maybe characters that don't have the voices that are out in Korea, but they don't have Japanese voices. Maybe they're trying to, like, move ahead. I thought that the Japanese server, wherever they are uh, with the characters, that's up until that point. That's how many characters who have Japanese voices. So that's what I thought the the... the schedule is for that but maybe not maybe they're trying to push all of them uh up to like korean uh, state right now so again like whatever they're doing i'm glad they're doing it i like japanese voice acting so um, definitely a plus for me and the last thing is the compensation which is decent it's one of the better compensations honestly uh 10 million credits Pretty sweet for new players. You, it would not seem like much, but 10 million, believe me, every million counts when <laughs> when it comes to new players. Uh, so definitely nice. 1,000 quartz also decent, and 20 fusion quartz is, is, again, like any free fusion quartz, any free quartz is appreciated, so, uh, so not too bad. 
Well, those have been pretty much the upcoming changes. Uh, most of them, well, all of them pretty much are good. So we'll talk more about it when patch notes uh, drop because I'm sure they will go, go a little more in depth for, for us global players. So uh, until next time, guys, peace.